Hello, everybody, and welcome to Roll Quest. So we are chapter Howdy three. Power to the people, free the slaves. <laughs> free the slaves, exactly. Chapter three, episode two. Uh, previously on the, the episode before, everybody was bidding on various slaves in the slave market, and they are now all going to head back to the Golden Tusk to potentially do a little bit of wheeling and dealing before we actually come to the results of their purchasing. So over to you. Well, we are not being listened to on the way back to the, the Golden Tusk. Tusk. You always pass. Tusk, sorry. <laughs> Golden Tusk. We're always being listened to, Ash. Then I'll have to speak quieter. <gasps> wow. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> you speak quieter. Hmm. I told the orc, revenge. I want to buy him. I want to buy him for reasons of revenge. Did he do something to you? Uh, do you I, recognize I'm, him? Hang on. More importantly, is he the one that betrayed you and got your caravan no. captured? Shrek boot. Some, something <laughs> more important than that. I'm trying to be circumspect here. You, <laughs> Ash, you said that you were overheard by the vampire. Does that mean they overheard you tell that orc that? Oh, you didn't. Sorry, you don't speak Orcish, do you? Sorry, Riv. Who, who speaks Orc? Well, I suppose you do. <laughs> who speaks Orc? Um, I understand yeah. what Orcish sounds like when it's spoken. And slavers. Why getting that slavers. close to me? Um, I said revenge. He said, "Are you of the clan?" I said, "I ride the rhino." That's a strange conversation to have. Exactly. Makes That's perfect too sense obscure, to me. even for some Xavian scum to know and understand. Ooh, it. Depends. Oh, I wouldn't, wouldn't go that far, mate. Actually, Ash will know that the vampire house, a house viper, is directly north of his clan. Yes. It is the border that borders onto his area. So, that's oh, he's got a good, a legitimate reason for wanting one of these orcs. Do they? Do we actually get into fights with orcs? No, you quite often uh, team up and do stuff together. I mean, you can get to. They're clan-based as well. One clan could be friends of your clan. Another clan could be an enemy of your clan, yeah? Um, oh, the or okay, yeah, the orcs from one tribe to another will fight amongst themselves, and some will be with you, some will be against you. It's just that what, what I'm getting at is that it's it could be that we could my clan could have fought orcs. Oh, most definitely, and other orcs would have fought go. orcs too. That's fine. That's 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 what I'm aiming for. It's not as if all of us, you know, it's a bit weird that a clan of rhino riders gets on with a bunch of orcs because they no, no, mates. No, no. And that, that why would I? So what I'm trying to say is that um, hopefully it is implied that I want revenge and I want to buy this one to exact my revenge, and not what I hope Riv knows what I'm getting at actually. I know. He has asked for 40 crowns, uh, 40 gold, and he will step down from the bid. They will pass, allowing us to take him for 40. But yeah, that will cost us 80. Hang on. Depends more, more to the hang point. on. Sorry, what was that, Riv? I was going to say, more to the point, do we know we can trust this Xavian? What if he just backstabs Because us? then that would ruin his reputation as a trader. How many know of this deal? You and him. Yes. Word against it. Yes. His the known, the known commodity. Look, at the end of the day, I'm not really aiming to buy the bloody thing. I'm looking for maybe releasing him and letting him loose to kill and slaughter. How did you get out, having seen their setup? Right then. I was here for uh, just over a week. I studied them. I watched them made sure I kept eye on their uh, patterns. Who was, um, who would argue with who, who disliked who. Um, knowing one person had a dicky tummy, one person liked to laze around. And when I planned, when I thought the best time to escape was, I got out, killed one of them and escaped. From the manacles and the cages? He wouldn't have been manacled. I and was about to say the cage would have been open to give him food if he hadn't caused trouble. They were quite lax back then. 
But not now. I was. I hadn't caused trouble because I was keeping a wary eye out, casing the joint. Maybe not as good as the young Riv here, but I am not unintelligent. So my father keeps telling me. If you did it at any other time other than during a guard shift change, it wouldn't have stood a chance. But because some of the guards would have just been changing at the gates and changing at the outsides of the doors, then you could have timed it. And I picked late at night as well. And how yeah. did you get over the, the palisade? Climbed. Where? See where they've got the, the... When we came in, remember there was a bit on the right-hand side where they had two crossbowmen? They've strengthened up... They've strengthened up their defences. I picked a weak spot. I had to move quickly. Um, gaslighting is not very easy to hide from. And literally after getting over the wall, I got into the stables and put the armour on because it was easier to actually wear it than carry it. Yes, wise words, sir. Wise words. And the rest you know. Was that it? Yeah, I'm just trying to think of any way that we could uh, use that to our advantage. Uh, Unfortunately not, it's to our disadvantage, because it appears that they have taken everything that I have done, and obviously you've seen that as a weak point in their defences, and they have now strengthened it all. They have doubled the amount of guards on the inside, and they now have crossbows. They have um, two sets of doors and locks everywhere. It's a lot stronger. I had planned on coming back. How many of my my people were actually in the pens with me? You couldn't see them at the time, if you remember. You did That's you right. did look for them, but you couldn't see them. As I said, I wasn't a warrior. I'm just a a fighter of my people. I'm not. I don't have my braids. I don't have the uh, the cash. I don't have wear the colours of my clan. I am just a fighter. They would have seen me as possibly a um, a baggage handler or something like that, but uh, I couldn't see my people. Is anybody else going to sound out the others on the going rates on some of those people? Or oh. ask any questions about other stuff you could get information about at this point? Yes, it's, please. The, it's the only way you're going to get it. It's a very important information you guys could get to do with plot. If you don't ask, then you're not getting it. Look, we need to know about... Myself and Lumi would like to know whether we Lumi would actually be able to find anything about her side of the thing, the people that she was here to meet, but I'd like to find out about my people, but my skills with people is poor. <laughs> that is the problem. Yes. Yes. The, the talking also... people are, are not talking to people. We've also got a number of red-sashed individuals, some of which we know nothing about. They won't know it either. The merchants aren't going to know anything about them. But, Riv, you were talking about finding out if other people have, any other clan members have been bought, or any other northern barbarians. Actually, I say northern barbarians. <laughs> They're actually northwest from here, aren't they? Northeast from here. Northeast, sorry. What would they be classed as? They wouldn't be called northern barbarians over here, would they? They would just be called barbarians. They're the only yeah, barbarians, the barbarians left. Ah, right. So... If people, can, <laughs> if people can ask about barbarians without I, I my ability with people is a little bit too direct i am not subtle enough as emrys has pointed out on numerous occasions ah uh, yes about the uh so you have an extraordinary amount of security here which i obviously is a good thing um but, uh, who are you asking that to is this normal uh, well, here's, you know, who, who seems to be chief of the guards. You know, She'll just say that's this normal. Is our, this is our first establishment. Is that normal? And what She'll do we, say do yes. What do we expect if we go elsewhere? Oh, she doesn't, this... know, she doesn't know about other slavers, other slave traders, but here this is normal. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, uh, 
I thought I like it. I was just thinking, you know, could we rely on this sort of thing else? Or you've not you've not been anywhere else, have you? She's the auctioneer here. Yeah, they they don't go anywhere. This is slaves are brought to here to be sold. Yeah. And sometimes some of the profit can be given back to the regional people that brought them. It all depends what the various arrangements are for people. But it's all so this security has been like this all the time, then. That's what she'll say. Yeah, she'll say. Yeah, this is normal. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. When was the last auction you have? Do you have? How often do you have them here? Yeah, she says she. They're usually they can be one a month. Sometimes they're one every other month, depending on how many you know bodies they get in uh and what interest we've got if we get something really exotic in then we might purposely not sell it for a whole auction to try and get interest if it's something really interesting all right so what what i mean quite confused by what, what's the red ribbon thing all about uh, is, that it, a, is that a normal thing does that happen very often uh, only usually when Hagen wishes to postpone the sale of somebody for this month's pass uh, because he's still dealing with some issue that he wants to deal with with them. And then usually when Hagen's finished discussing or sorting out whatever information he wants from somebody, which could just be um, general diplomatic information or all kinds of things, He'll then usually remove the red ribbon and then that person's up for general sale. So anybody you've seen ah, this time might okay. be free. Or if you want I'm more them... In, I'm more, in, more, you know, just yeah. wondering. Well, it, I was wondering, because will we be seeing this elsewhere or is this peculiar? No, this is here? just here. And I know you, you pay particular interest to the... To the, you know a couple of the prisoners with red ribbons. And tomorrow what you'll get is it might be possible that... Hagen will uh, deal with that person extra quickly so that you could still arrange right. to have them shipped out sometime in the next week or so um, before the next sale. So he might sort of like forward his investigations or conversations with his people based on a conversation between you and Hagen. Ah, okay. That's a good... Uh, Useful to know. Sounds like quite an effective way of dealing with something. Obviously, I have no idea what, what, um, what potential. I mean, it's a bit odd, it's odd, isn't it? To be a lot of the a lot of the prisoners you've seen there at one point or other probably had a red ribbon. They might have only oh, had right, there for a lot a, of them. Well, yeah, only oh. might have only been there for a day or two uh, before they, Hagen they local removed or it. Something? No, it's just when the, when, when new prisoners arrive, quite often. Hagen might come in and just check over the new prisoners and see if there's any there that he wants to quickly red ribbon. But then those ribbons could be gone sometimes by the evening. It all depends whether or not Hagen's got it's more investigation. Like an assessment. It's a pause that he wishes to put on some of the sales sometimes. Um, it just so happens that if there's a red ribbon during an auction, which there is uh, today, then that means that he wants to postpone them until next month. How many was it? They won the three red ribbons. There were quite a few. If four, I if I recall. Yeah, there's I four. Yeah, it was quite a yeah, few, wasn't it? Four. four. I, I, you know, I would say, I said, but there were four. That seems, you know, is that normal? Yeah. It depends on how many prisoners are in there. If there's like a hundred or so prisoners, you could see 20, 30 ribbons in there. Really? Okay. Well, he's, okay. he's only got so much time he can spend questioning, so. <laughs> how many, um, so we've got about 20 here. On this auction, yeah, is that a re is average amount? I mean, how how many did you have last auction? If we get less than ten, we'll usually postpone, unless there's something special like you know a, an exotic animal or something. Then we might obviously continue to go what ahead. We do animals here as well. In the middle pens, quite often there can be exotic animals. If you get something really good like a Pegasus or a, you know something interesting, they they might Ooh, uh, run a special really? auction. But quite often those Amazing. are held for two months so that that would people interest me get interest yeah that does sound very good good you really have things uh very interesting place you have here you can see why there's such good interest mm, i think we pick very good i think we pick well starting uh, our endeavors in this establishment we have been doing this for a very anyway? long time <laughs> so this would be suana when you would talk to her back at the, at the thing you got to remember this, this, the lawless lands have been slavers for hundreds of years. So it's not the, 
it's quite a set up establishment it wouldn't just be this town there's probably quite a few other towns they tend to be the coastal towns that tend to be the slavers because they can have slaves coming in by boat which is a lot easier than over overland where it's a lot easier to get them eaten nobody wants to get eaten exactly it's a bit far i know sticking them in the the bells of your ship is a lot easier way to transport slaves than across land Yes, um, should we be uh, needing um, a ship to, to leave here? Should we rather go by sea? Is that a, something we can arrange here at the docks? That's completely up to you. If you haven't got your own ship or transport, that's something you're going to have to arrange with captains individually. They, can't, they don't provide any kind of service like that. But there's always but merchants and slavers coming and going. You should be able to buy passage if that's what you want. Ah, excellent. So you do have enough uh, passage in and out that we could possibly take uh, constant take our leave via via the sea rather than by by road and wagons. This is basically the main port of this region. Let's ask them what last month's auctions were like because these are regulars here. So let's see what we can come up. Okay, so do you want to approach the first group? Yeah, I'm sure. also I'm also going to approach a guard about come to me after. Okay, so you approach the first group. Uh, you will be interceded by the uh, the emissary of the group. His name is Salus. Uh, you think slightly um, Arabic Asian. He's a Zavian, but you think may, maybe from some of the the edge of the desert clans, which is not the vampire uh, areas. It's one of the others. Um, he's he greets you and says, you know, obviously lots of small talk about, you know, it's nice to see some new faces here, etc., etc. Over to you. Ah. Yes, it's, uh, as you may have gathered, not something we have a great deal of uh, experience with. In fact, this being the first auction we've attended, um, I was wondering, is this quite normal? Were you here last, was it last month? What did... Uh, so Anna say, was it last month? Both both himself, Salus, uh, and Avinia, he points at the, the vampire group. Um, he says that we stay here constantly. We live here around the, the year. We just arrange to purchase stuff. And then when um, our ships come into port, we just then move the slaves onto the ships. Ah, right. So you, uh, do you give passage to others? For instance, should we wish to... Uh, we don't, we, we kind of, we're working for our own houses and things for stuff, but I suppose the for a fee, captains, obviously. yeah, I suppose, I suppose no, the captains, it's... if that's where you want to go, is to one of our Xavian ports. I'm sure the captain would probably arrange to offer you some board. Oh, excellent. So, were you here last month, did you say? Oh, they, they're here all the time. And previously? They've been here for quite a few what years, was, actually, their group. Give me an example. What was for sale last month? Oh, it's 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 always the same kind of stuff. There's not been anything that exotic or interesting here for a little while, actually. Um, it, it's a nice steady flow. There, it'll tell you that they're more interested. The uh, the Arabic ones are more interested in potential warriors. Um, sometimes they'll use the warriors for contests in fighting pits, um, like gladi gladiatorial stuff, but. There's not usually a lot of stuff here. A lot of the stuff from Bale Town, they say, tends to be refugees and people like you know fleeing from one place to another place. So they tend to be a bit more malnourished. It's not the best for them, but they find a few pickings now and again. Had any recently? No. And, they, what, and what sort of money do you... the big orc could be interesting? They said that that could be you know a good uh, slave fight. That could be good for a laugh. That was the sort of thing we were thinking of. Look at that orc. Mm. Yeah, he might be more trouble than he's worth, though. So maybe, maybe the the other orc that's not quite like super strong could be could be worth our time. So you didn't, but you haven't picked up another. Didn't pick anything up last month, fighter wise. Oh. There was a few bits that, and pieces, I mean, nothing of interest, really. As I said, there's not usually anything humans, stand out. Orcs? 
Um, um, orcs are pretty rare. We don't usually get any orcs, so the orcs are a little bit of an interest. What do you normally get down here then? Normally humans, some elves, some half elves. There's no half elves this time. Um, yeah, that's usually our most common. Where are they from? Are they where are the orcs from? Are they up north or somebody must have brought them in from yeah raiding across the wild plains and maybe doing some raids at the edge of the blistering mountains. Uh, just grabbing anything that they can do. They do that now and again. We've got some groups that work across that area. Isn't that what the the um what are they called? Um, barbiturates. Um, what are they barbiturates. Called? Yeah, they avoid the they avoid the barbarians. Bar barbarians. That's the things. Yeah. Yeah. Are they up that way as well. They are. They, you don't see many. Do you ever see any of those? Not really. No. Do you ever see? Have you ever seen one here? I haven't personally, no. It's too much of a risk, I think, for most of the slavers to bother with those clans. They usually just, you know, avoid that area and... Oh, is it a bit dangerous, is it? They, yeah, at the end of the day, slavers look for easy prey. Yeah, you don't you don't want to be going into a, a tribal village of barbarians trying to, you know, get slaves. That's just asking for a bloody <sighs> nose, you know. That's a very good so. point there. Mm. I think you could be taking your own life. You might have found yourself a slave. Oh, I imagine that. Terrible. We have sold some slaves in the past to the barbarians, but we don't usually get barbarians. Yeah. Sold other slaves to the barbarians. Yeah. Ah. There are a few merchants that do those routes now and again, but not often. And it's, is that something you do? or I don't know, but my organisation, obviously, all, all of us tend to work for... You know, organizations, you get the odd, uh, like yourselves, little independents popping in now and again, wherever they're after certain stuff. Um, but you might see a couple of them a year. Um, sometimes they come back for more, like yourselves. I mean, are you tend to become regulars in this area? In which case, you know, if you don't mind me asking, where will you be, like, selling your slaves on to? Well, this is where we're um, beginning to, you know, think about and plan our our ideas of what we intend to do so well the two the two main Xavian houses uh, are kind of always got somebody here so selling to them is pretty pointless because we've kind of got that market cornered um you can get some empire sales now and again usually for workers is it the doggy <laughs> You can get some old Empire sales now and again. Yeah, that's okay. You you can get some old Empire sales now and again. Oh, we wait for Emrys to come back on. We eat I'll be pulled my earphones out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll pull the plug. Just pull my plug. We, we'll go to bed. Yeah, Sorry. we'll wait them out. Yeah, we'll wait them out. She's all right now. Fluffy right. face is gone. Ah, uh, yeah. So. Yeah, so sorry about that. Yeah, hmm. so he'll say that. Uh, sorry, he'll say that. Um, yeah, you can get some old empire sales, and again, usually for private bidders, usually for work camps. There's other. There's quite a few people inside uh, the lawless lands here that will buy sales. Yeah, again, usually for work camps, doing various potentially dangerous working, mining, etc. They might do stuff. Um, there's usually quite a few people to sell people to. Um, if you got the price right and you can buy them cheap enough. It really comes down to, it's not the cost of buying the slave, it's then the cost of feeding the slave, keeping the slave, transporting the slave, and then hopefully making a profit at the other end. So I'm hoping you've got some kind of logistics Indeed, system a lot. in place. This is what, um, yeah, this is obviously part of the reason we're here to thrash through all this with possibly, you know, a small start so we can ensure that we're uh, happy wow. to in you, you invest must, in, this, you, in this area. You must have quite a lot of wealth to be allowed to start in Baletown as opposed to one of the other smaller trader areas um, because ah, there's kind I of like a minimum, minimum requirement here. So, Indeed, we are <laughs> we're quite, uh, as you can see, we're not, uh, we're not short of a few coins, indeed. Well, he says he'll pass you a little uh, round disc um, with a red eye on the one side of it. Uh, he'll pass you. He says, "Have this on the house." He says, "As a gift." What, what, one from our group to yourselves? Maybe we can, uh, in the future, you know, sort out a, a few deals together. 
So I take this as a gift. So what is this? You don't have any? This... He's looking at you a little bit shocked now. No, as I said, we are, this is new. This is news to me. Oh, um, oh, right. Okay. Uh, you can use them in some of the the slavery organizations, like the, the inn we're in, etc., like that, to um, pay for special services or to ah, a slave in currency. I it's see. a special currency. Yeah, I'm surprised you haven't got within, any. Uh, wow, our, you must be new. Our... We do not. You know, I'm an honest man, an honest trader. Uh, I do not pretend not to know. So I thank you for your candid uh, treatment of me. And uh, I will not forget that. Not at all. Um, just to kind of put things in perspective for you then, uh, what I've passed you is probably somewhere in the region of a um, 35 golds worth of value of uh, room rental for yourself. That's awfully generous. Uh, well, I thank you. That's uh, very generous of you. As I said, maybe we can just make sure we uh, pass on a few um, Were there uh, people. anything you particularly were bidding on? A pass on the high half would be nice, but I don't think uh, I'm going to win that anyway. Um, I can... Uh, I'll have a word with our colleagues. You will not find us out trying to outbid you on that. A pass on the Xavian Asian female would also be a, a nice gesture. Did although, I did, although I didn't actually see you bid on her, but... But I'm just giving you the... We will not, we will not attempt anything else there either, though. Thank you. But, uh, next time, perhaps, we'll talk prior to our... But we were late <coughs> or, as well, so we do uh, apologise for that. Yes, yeah, sadly, you missed all the wheeling and dealing. You come right at the end. Yes, but in a way, it might actually go in your favour, as we've not... Uh, as we were all of a sudden an unknown entity. I, I imagine the cat was well amongst the pigeons was when we turned up, was it? Um, you so did make us rethink all... about... Yes, yes. Things. I'm sure the other houses will want to have a quick chat with you with regards to any passing that they'll um, want you to do. I would, be a, I would be a liar if I said I was not going to speak elsewhere. But, oh, uh, you must do. You must do. Yes, you were the first time and the first person I was speaking. No, I will not forget this. He gives you what a nod. Was, uh, what was his name? Uh, Seleuce. Salus, that's right. Okay, uh, we'll quickly move on then to, to uh, Avinia, which is the person that approached Ash earlier. This is from House Vampire. Uh, Vampire. House Viper, sorry. I know, I, I just have the idea. I'm from House, House Vampire. Vampire. Oh, really? House Viper. I think you were correct the first time. <laughs> yeah. House Vampire. Oops. He gives you a quick nod. And Obviously, I don't do that. How can I assist you? Well, as I think you're quite aware, I uh, unfortunately apologise for our lateness yesterday. Um, it should not give us any chance to speak prior to the usual auction, in, as we've been informed by our uh, swile uh, competitors and if there's a bird is behind me here yeah it's fine um, if there's something we you kind of done. ended up with and yeah. we didn't realize well it can you know we don't really here to upset the apple cart it seems like you have a good good thing going here which we just merely would like to involve ourselves in we're really uh, just we interested in the meat so if there's some meat that you actually fancy i'm sure we can arrange to do some passing it's not a problem yes um i think there's some one the, of my the, the meat you're interested in my guard has a personal Yeah, I offered one. to give you uh, a pass for 40 gold on the, the, the big orc, because that's a lot of meat for us. We, we want the big orc, but we've seen you had a bit of interest, a bit of mm. conversation going on with him. 
Oh, we could take the loss on the meat on that one, but we would need some kind of uh, payment. There's no way the others would bid against us for that. That's a nice, easy little bit of meat for us. So we're probably going to walk away with him. But we will take a 40 gold loss. And, yeah. mm. Mm. Um, yes, as I say, I'm, I'm not sure it's a personal thing. So it's uh, he, he did mention it, but uh, obviously... It, we hadn't spoken to you prior, mm. unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we could have uh, come to an arrangement there, perhaps. Well, you know, it's early doors yet. We were wondering, is, as I was speaking um, to Solis about the uh, other auctions here, about whether this is standard, normal. You're not about your purchasing for meat, yeah. effectively. He tends to go for the warriors. Were you here last month? I mean, what was... Yeah, I'm, what, I'm always here, yeah. What was uh, last month's like? Uh, a lot of average stuff, nothing big and burly. Apparently, they did have a big burly one we were looking forward to, but apparently, don't go shaking this around too much, but it got away somehow. He got away? To, yeah, they managed to break From out. From all this security? Ah, they've upped the security. They used to have really high security here, but... Um, they laxed down for the last few months, but it's it's gone back up again. It's 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 on high again. So is this normal for when we go out? If we go elsewhere for slaves, it's about what? No, we they they find, they, they treat their slaves pretty well here in Billtown. Some of the other outlying towns, they can just be out in the t in the you know in cages in the street sometimes, just covered in refuse and manure and not very well kept after but in here they tend to look after their slaves pretty well um it's quite surprising you usually get any that escaped because they usually drug them if they're a bit uh boisterous but uh, oh right it's pretty good here they usually keep things well 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 in order it's one of the uh, best what, hagen's uh, runs, runs a good good tight town here do, um any examples or any exotic stuff that you've seen here and you've bought over the years oh there's been a couple of interesting big snakes some lizard things something that people tried to pretend it was a dragon but it wasn't it was too small it was some kind of like worm thing um but you don't you don't you don't usually get to see a lot of that stuff but sometimes a, a hunter will bring something in interesting and and sell it sometimes you get like some frog folk and stuff but they're just a waste of time you know even for meat they're no good for 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 our tastes so uh, they don't tend to go very well any good warriors um i noticed we had obviously we noticed the orcs here our interest was in the fighting rather than thing as i think my um yeah there's are. a couple of big ones there that we we kind of fancied uh we we wouldn't mind the the hobgoblin but we're, we're really only after the meat it's not like the Seleuce and his lot, they're probably after the the mages and the mentalists, the, uh, the the Arabic lot. They're they're probably going for those. Um that's more their cup of tea. They want some fighters, and if they're not fighters, they want ones with some, you know, kind of flair. I don't know why, but they, they do. They're a bit weird like that. All oh, right. If you always say to, for meat, I mean it's uh For meat. Mm. <laughs> meat obviously i'm i'm being vague and naive i know exactly what he means but i'd like him to say it <laughs> it's it's not uh a secret it's ah. not it's not something in this world that is uh, uh you know it's not taboo. unknown no so. exactly the, the vampire okay. uh house, yeah I is, know. sorry the vi the viper house of xavier is run by vampires and their citizens okay. are humans cattle uh, if you're in the wrong category of humans, then yeah. As in, if you're not high enough up the pecking order. You haven't got your little... <laughs> <laughs> Are there any of them carrying marks, Tony? Uh, these here, no, they're not carrying any marks. But slaves would be the lowest possible order. They are just meat. Yeah. Food. They are just food. A big, a big strong guy can last a long time. You could, you could, you, they don't you, mind they, whether they could last orcs. a couple of years potentially if if you if you you know pace yourself with a you know a nice collection of nice strong slaves and you feed them well you can feed off them for years. 
So, ah. so good strong sleeves are definitely worth their money. Excellent. Well, they've been very helpful. Did you nod? The next group introduced themselves as Torrid from Old Empire. Um, says hi. He's not that much of a regular. He does come here now and again. Um, they tend to make their way here across land. They don't come by sea, so they don't tend to shop here very often. But they've come out to see if there's any goodies. Um, Ask he him what he's, instantly what they tend to buy. Instantly um, says that uh, that he would be interested in um, taking a bribe off you to. Uh, to pass uh on the high elf um if you're if you're up for it um but otherwise you know the things that he's interested in really is um a couple of the humans you wish us you wish us to pass on the no 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 elf. if you want us to pass on the high elf then oh, you see. can make us an offer and we will pass on the high elf because that's the big show that's the big the big ticket number They'll be willing to take a bribe to pass on the high elf. In other words, they can't afford it, and they're not—they know they're not going to get it. <laughs> well, it depends. Pass it on there. Yeah, uh, they'll just give them money to spend elsewhere, which we have put money on. <laughs> we don't want to be able to afford it either. Hmm. So, any other questions there? Otherwise, you can go on to the last one. But uh, yeah, indeed, just just us about what they saw last week they, he, he wasn't here he, he i'm trying here. Uh, yeah, yeah. anybody what, else amongst this what, what, what are the slaves was he interested in uh the ones that he would be interested in making a deal with really as he said is going to be the various humans um because yeah, uh, obviously we've got money down on some well he'll he'll wait for you to offer first but all of the humans really he's interested in um not so much in the the noramias especially since the, they, they, they the kids wouldn't make the journey they're not interested in trying to keep kids going across that distance <clears throat> i mean some of them you might be able to sell back to originally where some of them are from and they can get their freedom but you can usually make quite a lot of money selling people back for freedom big big bucks do you see much of the these red ribbon things? They don't come here that often. They might come here a couple of times a year, but yeah, it's quite normal. And in other towns, sometimes you just don't even get shown some slaves that. Uh, ah, I see. I see. They just won't even put them on display here. It's kind of like yeah, you you can see them, and if you're interested in them, you can go and see Hagen and have a chat. And usually, he's pretty good, and you know, you're going to arrange something if you want something. But you might just have to wait a little while. Which is mm. not necessarily a bad thing. It's a nice inn. It's one of the best inns it, 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 these ever they've ever seen. So it's a nice place to stay. I mean, um, yeah, we were we were obviously trying to think of endeavors. We also have other things in cloth and stuff, but um, it was just something I'd never encountered um, previously. The sea say, elf, uh, he says, is pretty rare. You don't get to see many sea elves. That's uh that's a rarity that's something they might have a chat with hagen for to see if they can uh ah purchase yeah. a sea elf at some point that. and maybe the drow. the drow is something that's also very rare they might try and have a chat with hagen to see if they can uh come to a deal he with the drow like a lot of trouble but it's something we could use to potentially sell back to the drow on some kind of deal be very careful there, I think. Life of the slaver. Absolutely. Yeah, well, so it would seem. Well, we don't, we don't, do, we don't, we don't personally get the risk. We send diplomats and emissaries out to do all the risky work, ah, and then obviously excellent. they come to us and take them off like our the hands. I like I mean, the cut of your chin. Says, oh God! Don't get, don't yeah, get, don't get in the risk that, yourself. I they were saying that um, apparently that up the security here because i mentioned it was seemed very secure oh um, yeah we heard that apparently yeah. last month there was some or something somebody escaped yeah something. somebody got free apparently yeah, last month you know and then somebody else was um 
not even put on show on the slaves we hear to be here in the grapevine that somebody was kept on Hagen's ship for some interrogation apparently before being shipped off north um sure, but I'm yeah sure. apparently there was a few interesting things happened last month um, we we weren't here though ah right so interesting isn't it? So, uh, what so possibly a slave that didn't get sold here and right and didn't even appear here as far as I know, as, as far as I know, I think one of the Xavians had somebody shipped north after um, Hagen finished with them, but they wouldn't even put it on sale. Apparently, apparently it was a private deal that was sorted. Ah, oh, okay. Not a normal thing, then you think? Not here. That's quite common in other towns, but in Bale Town, usually they display all of them. But apparently, there was somebody last month that uh, people are saying that they were quite upset because they didn't get a chance to see them, and they got shipped out. Well, well, well definitely one one escaped anyway. Or and yeah, and another escaped. one escaped. I'm not quite sure. So... I couldn't work out whether it was one or many or what. How how and what happened exactly? I, I would have thought the person escapes got a big bounty on them because they they like to get them back and then sell them for a bonus. So yeah. All right, okay. Well, I thank you greatly for your uh, candid uh, help yeah. with us on our new endeavour. Yeah, well, hopefully we'll good health. cross paths sometime, you know. Become you quite regular, well, a couple times a year. Yeah, a little less regular. Probably do you go elsewhere to do similar? No, it's, a, it's a, a very dangerous journey. Very dangerous long. journey. We have to arrange for some passage to get here safely. We have to try and get through the Elven land sometimes a bit safely. It can take a lot of work and a lot of expense, so we can't. So make are you a trip from up often. north? Do you come or no? We're from the old empire. We're across oh, the old empire. Maps. Your... My apologies. Or I was, I was informed. Calamore, as they used to call it back in the day. I am aware of it. Yes, my apologies. Okay, well, the last group. Thank is you. the Normias. Uh a gentleman approaches you. His name is Bork. 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 Bork Bork. Hi. Bork. Nice to see new traders. I like you. You you look good. Greetings, Bork. I do apologize if my uh ooh, how do you call it? This local tongue is not good, but it's I, I manage. Um, we, these are where are they from? Normia. Normia. For those who somebody else want the, the world map, map that <laughs> is basically south of Calamore. You've got Pavos and Normia that are south of Calamore. Normia and the old empire used to have a war, not that you know long before the the big world ending thing. Fifty years ago. Yeah. I have to, <laughs> That's a long time. I have yeah. 30 years online. Well, not necessarily. Some of the wars here can last for hundreds of years. They become more cold wars, but the, the border clashes can last for a long, long time. So 50 years so, could be a bit of animosity sort of going on there for whatever reason the war was. Going that long, they've forgotten why they were fighting. Yeah. But um, it's same questions, obviously. Um, were you here last month? Did you hear what went on? Uh, they it's weren't here last month. Uh, security. <laughs> these are even rarer visitors to this area, but they hear that the, there were some Noramia slaves heading into this area. So they're going from every one of the towns. They're going town to town to town to find any Noramia slaves and buy them back for freedom, basically. They'll pick up some of the trinkets to make some extra money because they don't make a lot of money for buying for freedom, but they will make some money on some um... of the slaves. Are there any Naramea slaves in? They were, these? yes. There were two. Which two were they? The 11 and 12. I think we skipped past those ones. You did. Yeah. yeah. Ah. On those. Had, uh, we know, we have not bid on those anyway, but. Uh, he would be surprised if you would have. certainly them. would have. Uh, well. Hmm. If you if you if you have outbid them on the the yeah. sale, he'll say to you that if you do win those bids, um, if you would pass, if you were named as the winner, uh, they would make sure that your 
loss would be reimbursed. If you pass, you don't lose though, do you? You just don't gain the slave. Correct. But if you've offered more than we have, we will make sure you get ah. a good amount. That's very reasonable of you. But uh, perhaps we uh do so do you search out for your Norimuth colleagues wherever that's you go. That's why they're here. Them? Yeah, so that's why they're here to buy back their kinsmen. Yeah, the natives take it's them back. A noble cause, sir. Well, we do buy uh, other people and sell them too, back to our people to make some profit. But we can, we've got enough people back in Noramia that are funding us to bring back Noramia. Excellent. So. Uh, it's a good. I like the way you can keep your moral compass swinging so well. It. it if that's what you think, but it also pays, so I don't really care. Ah. Back to the moral yeah, compass. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's exactly what I said. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah, exactly. I didn't think so. We're yeah. being paid and we'll do the job. Yeah. Do what's necessary. Correct. Yeah. So, well, so, so uh, but you, we'll would, you, know, because you, you don't come back that often. What? four or five times a year if that is it mm, yeah it really d depends on whether or not we know that there's enough up here to make the trip worthwhile it's quite a dangerous trip to get here from Noramu. have you bought any of the things of any interest here previously or uh built um, yeah and then again we'll buy some some slaves here we've got a ship in port with a bunch of Noramus that we've bought from other you know towns nearby uh, this is our last port of call before we, we head back. Well, thank you for your uh, information and uh, help in our new endeavor. Yep, yeah, it gives you a nod. So there you go, folks. You've got all the information you could possibly want. Hmm. Indeed, and I uh, will wander over to back to the group yep how much bigger or how I much knew it was that Xavian scum <laughs> how much bigger is the um, the champion than me or is he is he not bigger but is he how much he was bigger he was bigger yeah. and i'm six eight yeah they're they're basically the champions from almost birth they're the the real pick of the the tribe the <laughs> yeah right so Yes, I explained that he never left the ship. That would be him and, then. Uh, some Xavian slaver. Was it a slaver or merchant? Sorry, Tony. It would have been a slaver that would have arranged a private deal, I think, for that one. It wouldn't even have been on display. They've taken him north. He's yes, that would have north. He would be a catch. He's bigger than me. That's if it was House Viper. If you're a vampire, is full stop. You have We're... to you have to ask yourself, thinking on that, would a vampire bother making a private deal just for some meat? That seems like yeah. too much expense. Oh, uh, so not for meat. On there. <laughs> no, <laughs> they knew that he was That's protecting terrible. whatever it was I had. The thing that Loomy's uh, Loom, uh, Loomy has uh, both, doesn't she? Yes, but what I'm saying is that we were coming down to. Yeah, it's. You were coming down to meet people, weren't you? We were. Correct. There was, was two people he was traveling with. Well, it was my. Was it... Come. Was yeah, it... actually, you were. Was it... Oh, come. So... Was it something so that they could identify what you had? Yes, the necklaces were to identify. Not quite. No. No. Oh, no. I thought they were. Well, I would. No. I would. I know that though. No. Well, you kind of had a gist because you got told really what was going on. Is there was a particular gentleman that Lumi was going to meet that you were actually escorting. You didn't know why you were escorting him, but the the your main chieftain sort of guy champion was protecting him to get here. You were along as yeah a observer. Shit! I pick things up. I'm very good at it. I look like a yes. big dumb fighter, what but I'm what smart. We, what we realised, and perhaps we passed over that a little more flippantly when we should have 
done in the past. This has mm. turned out to be quite some, quite some interesting occurrence, isn't it? There seems to be some big movement and a lot of resources have been put to, by you to try and get this to here. Yes. And by somebody else to prevent you. Yes. A lot, a lot. Of and, you, and you say somebody was taken on board ship and questioned. Indeed. And it, and it was the, the large chap that was sold individually to go north. I didn't say anything about a large trap. Uh, no, he didn't oh, sorry, say sorry, who. Sorry, sorry. He did not say who. Did not say who. But it could have not. It, it may not have been. Somebody was not taken off the boat and was interrogated, and then just was taken north. Mm -hmm. So, but what was about that the person you were going to be meeting? Or was it, it actually? Could be. Your... But, well, Lumi is who we were going to be meeting, guy? wasn't it? Yeah, Lumi was the one going to meet, but it was the 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 one that my clan was escorting down here. Now, interestingly, he wasn't of my clan, so it was very interesting. Your clan that's never I mean. comes here. That's why you were sent yeah. to observe and learn of the new lands. It was a unusual occurrence. You saw the guy that you were escorting, though, right? Yes. Describe him. Oh, you swine! Yeah, okay. <laughs> he, he, he describes some guy. It's not. It's not something that's going to be. He was. He was. He was. He was, he was an average human. I uh, wouldn't say. No, nobody we've encountered since or no nobody we've no encountered no. No. let's put it this way he wouldn't stand out in a crowd other than the fact that he had somebody bigger than me looking after him he was an SAS uh, special forces soldier <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't stand out in a crowd but that's the point he wouldn't stand out in a... he, you we can remember his head. name is it Castile but that is all really yeah. well you say I could remember his name no because it's been it's quite some time it's but your character would remember yeah. Castile yeah played by Misha Collins <laughs> um, it could be a Castro that was taken on board and interrogated. Indeed, we don't. We know. are dealing with things bigger than us, but we doesn't stop the fact that we. The the last thing you were given was the word in your background because you have you obviously don't have it to hand was your tribe must use all of their life and blood of your tribe to swear ah, protection of that one person. The tribe is willing to give up everybody if they need to to protect that one person. And that's the person you've lost. Yeah, he was so important that somebody outside, the, you know, somebody from outside the clan, my clan swore that they would give every last blood and person to look after him and now we've lost him so i'm going Oops. to hunt him down <laughs> and i need to find him you've lost him after, on, every, after everybody have you looked in the last place you had him <laughs> yeah i'm going to have you opened all the cupboards i'm going to slap the green pockets. off you if you're not careful Drath. <laughs> but what we're saying is that <sighs> This is back. We put all of our resources into getting him down here, and somebody has spent an equal amount of unpleasantness Indeed, and their resources to, to get this man. There's been an enormous yeah. effort from both parts. Just they mentioned. To, uh, the they mentioned side. exactly, if, but if they Lumi mentioned nothing was, of the rest of my clan. Yeah, if Lumi was here, then obviously she would also chip in that whatever was so important, she was sent on a mission here yeah. carrying an item that was sacred to her clan to meet him so that's quite a large worldwide do we, we don't have any, any stories hmm? on these these items do we know anything on them no we went through them they said little necklaces oh no that's Clearly. not the items that's not the items is it uh, to... it is yeah the things yeah. That it is yeah, the the shape. oh yeah. yes we, we've still got both that which you're yeah. looking for yeah Lumi's so we've both. actually we fortunately still have. They've got him, but they're none the wiser because they actually don't know now where they are. They might have some suspicions, but they really don't know. Do we, you were do captured. We, do we they know captured what everybody Lumi, in that one? Do we know what Lumi is? I, I mean, will she tell us? Everybody say, 
I thought we did know she was our self. I thought you, she came up with that. You know she's nice, <laughs> Faye, but you're not quite sure. You know, you would know, Ash, that for her to carry that item, she would not be considering how much you protected stuff to get here. For her to be allowed to come here on own, on a, on her own, means that she's probably somebody of high status to be allowed to perform that trip, even though she was clearly doing it incognito. Otherwise, she would risk being captured. You, you guys were doing it un incognito. You were doing it in. Here's a big caravan of guards, and look what happened to you. Uh, so she they, stuck here and got here okay. Yeah, that was kind of like the stealth mission in. Straight okay. the auction. Uh, Done the results. So, okay, the results are as follows. Okay, so the first one I rolled <laughs> is actually the High Elf. They say that the Vampire House Viper clan has won the auction on the High Elf. Interesting outcome. The other two are quite surprised that the House Vamp Viper would choose to do such a high bid on the High Elf female. How they much? announced how much they... Did. And they don't know. But oh, other... what? They won't know. That's not going to drum up further trade or give people an idea as to how much they should be spending on. Ugh. Okay, go on then. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, let's do that. Yeah, that would help because otherwise you won't yeah. learn for the future. Yes, okay. So well, two... nobody will learn for the yeah, future. Therefore, yes. they won't earn I, I, more money I, as the slavers. I, I, let, let, let me recap then. So, okay. So, the, um, the Viper clan uh, won the bid on the higher female for 220 gold. A lot of money. Yikes. An awful lot of money for her. So they obviously have plans there. Yeah. The second mm. one up is number 15. Oh, number 15 can't be, so because that's the barman. Uh, it goes to the next yeah, one in the choice. Thing, goes yeah. number 17, so it is a common human male. The only bid for that male was House Viper again on 20 gold. So they take the human male away for 20 gold. That's the fit human male, not the sick human male. Correct, yes. yeah. Yep. We were the only ones to bid on the, the sickies. Sicky the, I, I know, I'm just checking. The next one... He hadn't put our bids down. No, the next one is the near-dead human male. You win the bid on one gold. Give the, the next, funnily enough, is the one after that. The human female near-dead. You yep, win no. on one gold. Mm-hmm. Uh, the next after that, well, we all doing all the end stuff here, would be the Hobgoblin. The Hobgoblin male has an equal bid from both Xavier clans of, of 40 gold. Oh, wow, they're two and way higher than I thought. And yep. the House Viper bows out and passes on it and gives it to House Arabia. Do you know, this reminds me of blinking uh, American football drafting. It is, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's probably why Toad's doing it. Amazingly, the next one again is actually the last one. It is the male null. The male null is sold, evenly split, 20 gold was the only price that went for it, to both the West Calamores and House Viper. House Viper passes. And gives it to oh, Calamore. I'm not surprised. They've got the, uh, the high elf. They've spent a lot of money. They've spent a lot of dollars. <laughs> Next up. Oh, okay. This is an interesting one. This is the average male orc. You didn't bid on this one. House Viper won that one for 30 gold. They We're take not it. get the other guy. They take it. The next one up is number 11. The one of the Noromirs, the male. Uh, that goes for 60 gold to the Noromir contingent. The next one up is going to be the high human, the strong high human. You didn't bid on him. Both the Noromir and the East Ca and the West Cal guys um, bid 50 gold. Uh, you get a conversation quickly between the two and the West Cal guy says that he is going to pass but also says quite openly to everybody else but I will be in discussions outside of this area about him. Next after that is going to be I have to go down because he's done all these I'm probably going to bet using a d10 at this point. 
um, but I will I will drop down so it'll be the Asian female. Uh, that is one for eighty gold by House Viper. They pass and give it to the Arabic. The other um, who who then gets it for sixty. Yeah. Then you have the. So they must have lost a lot of faith face then, uh, having passed on five different uh, bids they put in as a winning bid uh it all depends yeah, think really on what think deals think they've made as well yeah, yeah but i'm yeah. just saying for the for the purposes of uh people losing face as i was informed by ash that they were going to house viper must now be really you know embarrassed uh the vipers are just I'm, looking for blood and I'm, I'm watching to see how embarrassed they are uh, yeah and to be honest if they've made a deal they could actually potentially earn more gold by passing mm -hmm. than they could from actually doing anything with it sometimes so uh the next one is a human female fair number five uh you didn't bid on that one that one goes to the noramias for 60 gold they keep it the next is oh here we go the elf male mage how much do we put on him they look at the things inside and the strange scribblings that people have wrote on there and said <laughs> it's a uh, coherent what the, what the note is this? what is special please four processed doses of eva flower people have a quick nap for themselves uh the auctioneer says we don't usually take battering of items um but i will offer it to the other church people does anybody wish to buy four doses of flour um at which point the processed eba yeah a processed, processed eba flour at which point the mm, the west cal guy comes over to you and says I'll give you 20 gold and I will pass. Do you accept? I do. Yes. Okay. In that case, he turns around and says, I upgrade that token by 20 gold and I pass. At which point the auctioneer says, you win the person with 45 gold. All right. So that was, that was who? The, the elf, elf male. Elf. You have oh, won that auction. Cancer. Yeah. Trace. Yep. He is yours. Trace. Do you want to... Should we give him... I will say, do you want it prepared now, or would you like the It flowers? has to be all money and all transactions. Ah, oh, actually, no, no, no. no, no. The, yeah, so, him, so the does, money... Do you want it prepared yeah. now? So yeah. he gives you 20 gold to... We give them 60 Trade away, yeah. But then they get... he says, no, we can deal about those later. Right. Yeah. So they get we paid forty. 45, you had to pay the forty five. Yeah, straight yeah. away. So yeah, well, yeah. we we gave him twenty. He gave us and twenty five from our Yes, pot. correct. That's correct. We've done. Okay. Next one is the gnome. The gnome goes for fifty gold to the other Zavian house. Not the vampire. Not the viper gun. The other Zavian house. Yeah, that's the, the, the desert uh, folk. The next is the, the little boy folk. and girl. I'm not so upset about that. Yep. The little boy and girl is going for two gold to you. Yep. Excellent. Okay. Trace, could you Hang examine on. them and check that? Okay, along yeah. with the other two that are near, you know, not very well. Could you give them any? Yes. Uh... Yes, I will. Next, we have so it'd be the excuse me, the nearest one to that, which would be. The dark human male, number 11. Uh, so that's one of the Noramias. The other Noramias, so there was two pairs of Noramias. Uh, one went to, for 60, the other goes for 70, basically. Both to Noramia people. Yeah. Um, I, just I like the, anybody... orc is being, the big orc is being saved until yeah, that. Yeah, I'm not rolling him, even though I'm trying to offset and, and pick him up. The next person is, is the heavy... Uh, sorry, the human male weak person, number 3. Uh, the only bid for that was 10 gold. It went to House Viper. They take it for a blood bank. Blood is blood. Is blood. Exactly. Oh, next, here we go. This is the super strong orc. There we go. Come on. The super strong orc. We uh, haven't got a hope. Uh, they say goes to House Viper for 80 gold. House Viper immediately turns to you and says, 
Do you wish to take the offer I gave you? I look to the others. Do we want it? We it thank you. We're out, we're we out will accept your exactly offer. the same amount. We, are, we thank you and we all accept your offer. That you means we are, paying, we are paying him the extra 40 then. Yes. yes. And okay, they, so and you, instead of them paying 80, they earn 40 and we pay the 40 on our charity. Yeah. We and pay no, them you pay 80. And we pay 40 to the thing. You're, no, paying, no, you're paying 40 to yeah, them. Yeah, we know. We pay and you're paying 40, 40 to, to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 40 yes. to the auction. Yeah, yeah. He, they don't they know. They make 40 profit. Yes, and they don't know what your chick was. Your chick could have been 70. So exactly. they don't know how much we you didn't put pay in. that much. Exactly. So they will turn around and say, in that case, then we pass. And in case they go and say, okay, it goes to you for 40, in which case the other guy laughs because, yeah. <laughs> he puts the two and two together, yeah. Okay, the orc is yours for 40. And f you need to pay, f yeah, 40 to Viper. Oh, no. uh, I will pay, I, because it was my idea, I will actually yes, pay from say my pay. cash. Okay. Well, okay. 40. Cool. In that case, and I'll just run through those who have left because it doesn't make a lot of difference now. We've gone on for the interesting ones. Yeah. yeah, so there's uh, a strong human male. It goes to east cat uh, west cow there's a, a female it goes to west cow um it was actually purchased by normia but they bow out um there was the orc female did we do her already no we didn't because yeah. she she's expensive she goes to 70 gold and it's a fight between the arabic uh and the west cow west cow bow, bow out they spent too much money um Life. Is there anybody else left? Do, 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 do. I think that's everybody, folks, that's not red tagged. So there's a few red tagged people. This is your chance to ask if you wish to speak to somebody about a red tagged person. There is yeah, somebody us here. Who's there's, red tagged. Yes, yeah, so there's somebody there's here. five red. Barman, obviously. Four yeah. red tags. There's uh, Barman. Gorgamain. Yep. Dark Elf. Yep. Sea Elf. Yep. And, and the other one an extremely See, attractive female human extremely attractive human female um there is a representative here from hagen himself his name is galon and he is just here to observe anybody that wishes to question the red tags can go to galon and ask for an audience to question them yes at which point he will I say, "I will no Emrys." Whilst I go over and examine the sick man and woman, yep, I will no Emrys to go and have a chat. Uh, the, he will say, "You are more than welcome. You can arrange to have a visit to talk with Hagen in the morning uh, on his ship. You will be escorted there, and you will be brought from the inn to have a chat with Hagen on the ship. And yes, you can arrange whatever deal you wish with Hagen." Ah, excellent, excellent. So, uh, examining the sick man, sick woman, and the uh, two kids. Yep. Give me a first aid, if you've got it, please. So, the general assessment on the, 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 little, the little ones is they'll probably just run away. They're scared. Um, they're just frightened of everything. They don't know what's going on. Um, but health-wise, they seem to be okay. The assessment on the near-dead man and near-dead woman they're probably touch and go you're going to need to actually be careful in what you feed them feed them up for a bit they've been very malnourished um if you can give them a, a reason to live then that'll be even better um children is always a good reason to live they are I actually <laughs> related <laughs> i i was actually on that count um yeah. if you can if you can get better you can be free we have a homestead and you can stay there with the children they're brothers and sisters we ask them where they're from as well. Where are you from? Uh, they were refugees trying to flee Calamore, uh, to come to this area because they were part of just being persecuted in Calamore by other general gangs. They come here and then they got captured and right. they just give that up. Is, that is uh, a quiet um, yeah, we are, conversation we are... with them whilst they're being checked over. Okay. Basically, if you can get better, if you can survive, we have a home for you not as slaves as free people and if you can look after the kids if you can take care of them you have your freedom 
okay you can see that they're not actually any physical condition to do that yet but no but, but yeah for hope like and, and said, a chance of the future a, yeah exactly it's just to give their will some willpower exactly it's it's a if definitely it's a good them start give up, it's called, I, give I, it I have hope. got a spell for that no give it's, de- hope. <laughs> it's definitely a good start fantastic folks okay i think we will end it here if you don't all mind and then next, next session step. you can see hagen um hopefully lumi will be available and we can leave potentially this area to go and hunt down some interesting um plot lines hopefully and hit it with a big sword and hit i it. have to go it's everybody blast. don't forget all yeah. the stuff down the bottom of the youtubes yeah thank you everybody uh see yeah, you all cheers, guys. for next episode see you all next of time. roll quests Bye. Bye. be the slaves Pretty slaves.